excited to learn and have fun? Yes, I'm excited too. So our subject for today is science. Good morning, kids. So before we move on in our lesson, I have pictures to show that you need to look. So here, what can you see on the floor? Very good. We have horse, cat, and dog. And what are they? Very good. They are animals. So can you tell me what are the similarities of these, of these animals? Have legs and tails. Exactly. So when you hear the word animals, what images come to your mind? You probably won't think of corals waving on the ocean, but you will think of dogs, cats, horses, and others. Corals are animals. Do animals such as corals have anything in common with dogs and cats? Let us find out. So our lesson for today is all about the body parts of animals and their functions. So let's talk about first their external parts. When we say external parts, it refers to any body parts of an animal that are externally visible. Head or caput, or caput, body and legs are the external parts of the animals. The eyes, ears, neck, mouth are the parts of the head common to animals. These are the parts that our naked eyes can see. The shoulders, chest, ribs, tail are also parts of the animal's body. The hips and feet are parts of the animal's legs. So let's talk about the functions of the body parts of animals. Like people, like people, animals have body parts for particular uses too. The first one we have for sensing. So animals have body parts for sensing. We have eyes, nose, ears. We also have mouth with tongue to taste and set of teeth for grinding. So as you can see on the monitor, we have the lion, owl, and deer. So next, we have for movement or locomotion. Animals can move freely. This ability is called locomotion. Animals move to look for food or mates and to protect themselves against enemies and bad weather. Now, let's talk about their legs. So here, as you can see, we have different kinds of animals. We have dog. Horse, tiger, rabbit, lion, and cat. So, look at the pictures of the animals. Can you describe the legs of the animals? Exactly, they have four legs. Where do these animals walk? Of course, they walk in the land. So, dogs and horses have long and thin legs which they used to run fast, also walk and gallop. Next, the legs of rabbits, tigers, cats, and lions have sharp nails on their paws. They use their paws to attack or scratch their enemies. So here, look at the legs of dogs, turtles, and frogs. We have webbed feet, these animals can walk on land and in water. Turtles and dogs use their feet, which appear like a paddle, to move in water and walk on the land. While frogs have webbed feet, so they can also walk on water and strong hind legs to hop on land. Next, we have carabaos. Carabaos have big and strong legs to help them carry heavy things. These legs are hard and strong for long walks on rough ground. 
Usually, carabaos are used by the farmers. Next, we have crabs and lobsters. These animals use their legs in crawling and in swimming. While centipedes and millipedes have hundreds and thousands of small legs, respectively, to help them crawl. Next, we have the grasshopper and spiders. They use their legs to move. While birds' feet make them move on land and in water for climbing, perching, swimming, and grasping. We have sharp claws used for clinging to trees. Next, alligators and crocodiles have legs for swimming as well as for crawling on the ground. So let's talk about the other parts. We have fishes. Fishes have body bodies that are shaped like a boat, making it easy for them to swim. Fishes have fins and tail for easy movement in water. Next, we have insects and birds. These animals have strong wings for flying. The body shape of birds is similar to that of an airplane. It is like a spindle which is used for gliding in air. Next, we have the snakes. Snakes have abdominal scutes by which they can move over rough surfaces. While earthworms, they have pairs of bristles that help them crawl and cling to the walls of their burrows. Now, let's talk about, about the food getting. So here, look at the pictures of different animals. We have frog, grasshopper, goats, and gel. Observe how they eat. Animals use their different body parts to get food. Just like the frog, it uses its tongue to get the food. And then goat, mouth, while the eagle, beak. So they move and grow because of the food they eat. Foods eaten by animals are easily obtained through their mouth. So we have here pelicans have a long beak of about one foot long. They have a pouch of skin on their lower bill, about 13 inches deep. Pelicans scoop fish with their pouch and swallow it through their mouth. Next, we have the hens. Hens scratch the ground with their sharp claws. They pick up worms or seeds with their beak. Next, we have the cats and dogs. These animals use their mouth to eat, while monkeys and chimpanzees use their hands in getting food. Grasshopper and spiders make use their legs to get food. Now, mosquitoes, bees, and flies have beating mouth parts. Dogs, cats, lions, tigers, and wolves have long, sharp teeth called canine teeth. They use their teeth to tear and cut food into small pieces. Eagle and owls have big, curved beak to tear flesh of other animals. So they use their beaks to get their food. Next, we have the snails. Snails have tough shell. They crawl on river banks and streams to look for food. They feed on flesh and decayed leaves. How about snakes? How do they get their food? Snakes have four tongues to find their food. They use their tongues for eating. Insects, frogs, and lizards are the foods of snakes. Next, we have the giraffes. So these animals use their long neck to reach for the leaves of tree. Yep. 
The shell of clams and oysters opens and closes to get sea plants for their food. While blue whales, they are the largest animal, they don't have feet. Instead, they have, they have whale bones hanging at the sides of their mouth called bali. Wild animals like tigers and lions use, your, use their eyes, nose, ears to find the food they eat. Wild animals are called predators. Animals they kill are called prey. So you remember that two words, kids. Next, let's talk about for protecting and survival. So how they protect themselves and how they survive. First, we have bird. Bird have thick feathers to keep them warm even in cold or polar climate. They ha their hollow body allows them to fly. Next, we have the scales. Scales protect fishes. Crocodiles have thick scales. Fishes have fins and gills to enable them to survive in water. Next, we have the turtle. Crabs and lobsters have shell or carapace for protection from hard objects and enemy attacks. Insects have feelers and antennas to help them find their way. Cockroaches use long feelers in short. Bears and other animals alike have fur and hair protection against cold weather. Sometimes we can see the bears in the zoo in the forest. Now let's talk about the cows. Deer and carabaos. They have horns for protections again against their enemies. Wild pigs, lions, tigers, and other animals alike use their sharp pointed claws to attack their enemies and protect themselves. Then we have squids and octopuses use their tentacles to trap their enemies. Porcupines have spikes all over their body for protection against attackers, while frogs and some fishes have moist, clingy skin. Next, we have hawks and eagles are called predators, which have sharp claws and beak to fight their enemies. So let's if you really understand our lesson for today, kids, let us have a short activity. So here's the first question. The animals can move freely. These abilities called leg. Very good. We called it locomotion. Second question. Dogs and horses have blank and blank legs. What's the answer? Very good. They have long and thin legs. Next. Fishes have blank and blank for easy movement in water. Let's find out the answer. They have fins and tail. Exactly. Now, snakes have abdominal blank by which they can move over rough places. Very good. The answer is... Good. Next question. Birds use their blank for getting food. What, did, what kind of body parts did they use? Very good. They used beak. Spiders have poisonous blank. What's the answer? Very good. We called it fangs. Now let us answer your book. It's answering time, kids. Now, let us answer letter B in review. Here's the instruction. Match the animals to their body parts. Write the letter of the correct answer on the blank. So, as you can see on the monitor, we have choices from A to J. So, let me read them first. We have web feet, fusion feet, cutes, 
three cells, long tongue, tentacles, mandibles, proboscis, carapace, and spikes. So let us answer number one. We have here octopus. So the answer is letter F. F. We have tentacles. Next, number two, grasshopper. What do they have? We have mandibles, letter G. Next, number three, butterfly. Butterfly match, letter H. It is proboscis. Next, we have the lobster. Lobster have carapace. It's letter I. Then we have porcupine. Porcupine have spikes. It is letter J. While lizard, we have long tongue. It is letter E. Next, we have earthworm. Earthworm have three cells. It is letter B. Then next, we have snake. Snake have cutes. It is letter C. Then second to the last question, we have carabao. Carabao have cushion feet. It is letter D. Then the last one, we have frog. Answer is letter A. They have web feet. Do you really understand our lesson for today, kids? So, here's your assignment in science book. Please answer pages 77 until 78, review A and letter C. Thank you for watching, kids. See you next time. Goodbye!